Hey, welcome back to Breakthrough Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I made these coconut cupcakes with coconut frosting. Um, the first thing I'm doing is mixing up my dry ingredients. This is flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I want to make sure all the dry ingredients are nice and combined. I set that aside and I grab my butter. I'm whisking it up um you could use you know a stand mixer or a hand mixer but i just kind of felt like putting my wrist to the test and to work and i just did it by hand so there i go <laughs> and after i have all the butter cream i'm gonna add the sugar you'll see that in a few seconds these cupcakes though are so delicious and they're such a tropical treat if you want to really transport your taste buds to a tropical paradise you want to add a little bit of pineapple make this a pina colada recipe a pina colada cupcake oh my god to die for so i'm adding i added the sugar already um, i'm mixing it up i'm making sure that it's nice and combined again a stand mixer or a hand mixer would make this step a lot faster and a lot easier but for those who don't have one, I have a hand mixer. I am still waiting. I'm praying to God for um, <laughs> a stand mixer because those really save so much time. But like I said, I just really wanted to do it by hand. And then I'm adding my egg and I'm mixing that all up and making that into the right consistency as you can see here. Now, what I'm going to add next to this is going to be coconut milk. And that's really going to bring that coconut flavor to these cupcakes alongside um, the, the shredded coconut. Now, for the shredded coconut, I want to recommend you to use unsweetened shredded coconut because it'll give a more authentic coconut flavor. And it won't overpower the other ingredients like the sugar that we already added. And the coconut milk also has a little bit of a sweet hint, hint to it. So that unsweetened shredded coconut is going to be a game changer. So make sure you grab the unsweetened at the supermarket or if you already have it, great. Now I'm mixing up the coconut milk. I'm going to make sure it is all incorporated and then I'm going to add the shredded coconut. And then you'll see me put these in the oven and go to the next step. Now, the addition of the shredded coconut, in my opinion, is one of the best highlights of this recipe because it really adds a nice texture to both the cupcakes and the frosting. That was kind of a spoiler alert for what's to come in the rest of the video, but do not skip on that shredded coconut. Don't don't get it twisted. It is a very necessary ingredient in this recipe. It's not optional. You need it if you want to make this recipe the best it can be. Another tip I want to give you is to make sure that the butter, the eggs, and the coconut milk are room temperature before you go and make this recipe because it's really going to help all the ingredients mix together and it'll make the batter a lot smoother as well. So now I have my little cake, uh, cupcake tin. I'm using this ice cream scooper to just make sure that I'm scooping an even amount into each little, little, um, what are these things called? Cupcake holders. <laughs> Um, and yeah, this made a perfect batch of six, so if you need 12, you know, double the recipe. If you need 24, quadruple it. This one makes a perfect batch of six. And I forgot to mention that before you do any of this, um, the first step in this whole recipe is preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to make sure the oven is nice and hot and ready to get these cupcakes into the door. So I'm just patting it down to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. And then I'm going to throw these cupcakes in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick um, comes out clean when you insert it into the center. Now, I let the cupcakes cool for five minutes in their pans before putting them onto my cutting board just to make sure that the, um, the structure of the cupcakes aren't going to get messed up because obviously they're still warm, they're still cooling down, and it also prevents the cupcakes from becoming soggy. So once I do that, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to start on my frosting. So with the frosting, I'm going to be creaming some butter and some cream cheese until it's light and fluffy. And this is going to make the frosting super smooth and super creamy. Once it's all creamed up, I'm going to add my powdered sugar. 
and this is going to make the frosting super sweet and flavorful. Then I'm also going to be adding more coconut milk to bring some of that coconut flavor. You could also add some coconut extract if you prefer. Um, and also some shredded coconut. Now, in this frosting step, if you're going to use sweetened, it's okay. There is a lot of powdered sugar in there too, so it'll be a little bit on the sweeter side. But the sweetened coconut is also going to be good in the frosting. That one you can get away with. But another tip for the frosting I want to give you is it's important to use high quality ingredients. Make sure you're using a good cream cheese, a good powdered sugar, um, a good butter, like unsweetened. Because these, these flavors are really going to taste them when you bite into that cupcake. Now, a really cool way to play around with this frosting recipe is to add a little bit of coconut rum, a little bit of coconut cream, or maybe even some pineapple. And like I said at the beginning, make this into a little pina colada thing. It's going to add a lot more flavor and make it a bit more sophisticated and super, super delicious. These coconut cupcakes are super great for a summer party, a beach-themed event, or even just for you to enjoy at home. I personally made these for my aunt's birthday. I know she loves coconut, so I was like, let me, let me whip something up for her, something special. And as you can see, I gave her four, and the other two I ate and I enjoyed, and they were delicious. So I just went ahead and frosted these cupcakes and I topped them off with some more of that unsweetened shredded coconut. They were so good and so beautiful, but I just thought of something. It would have been really, really cool if I added some, maybe some fresh coconut or even some fresh pineapple or banana. It would have been so delicious. I can't get over the, the pineapple coconut. I don't know why I didn't think of it. You might see the recipe coming soon because a pina colada cupcake just sounds to die for so one last thing i want to say is that these cupcakes are super good and they're best served room temperature and they can be stored in an airtight container for up to three days to keep them fresh and moist i recommend putting them in the fridge and then taking them out to room temperature before serving so here i am just frosting i use a little I, this isn't a ziploc bag but it's a really basic um piping bag um and then i just topped them off with the coconut like i said and that's it thank you guys so much for watching my video i really appreciate it if you want the full recipe you already know where to go and be sure to like and subscribe see you next time bye